Yep, that's it, man. For the first 18 weeks, it seemed like it wasn't working. I was starting to get all these comments from people kind of, I don't know, being a little bit negative, right? They were saying, oh, I think it's making it worse, and I don't know why you're still doing it. Obviously, it's not helping at all. And then at the beginning of this week, I was like, wow, my face is starting to look a lot clearer. And now it's it's a lot clearer than say, you know, go four weeks back, my face is a lot clearer. Obviously, it's not completely flawless, Britney Spears, Jessica Simpson clear, but it's looking pretty good. All I have left is like a little patch right here and just a small patch right here. And my face is looking real smooth. My chin is completely clear. I feel good. Another thing that's kind of weird and cool is that I've been on Accutane for 19 weeks and over the last two to three weeks, it seems like my side effects have gotten less severe instead of more severe. I feel like my face is not as dry. I feel like the, the parts around my mouth, which were the driest, are not that dry. I feel like if I forget my chapstick, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, I just need to get it eventually, but it's not like my lips are bleeding or anything. My joints are feeling good. My strength is going back up because I'm eating more calories. Everything's a lot better as far as the side effects goes. So now, without further ado, let's take you down to the microscopic level in full high definition. This is your close-up warning. I don't know about you guys, but I'm excited. I know a lot of you guys have been following me since week one. It's week 19 now. So for those of you who've been following me the whole time, thank you. And I know that it's extra exciting for you guys because you've been watching it and you've been like wondering if it's gonna work or not or if it's making it worse or better or what. And it's finally starting to get a little bit better. Start. It's all downhill from here, really. And so I'm thinking in the next week and then the week following and the week following, it's just gonna be like, Dang, damn, holy crap, you know, it's gonna be awesome. And I think maybe in three to four weeks, I'll have a really, really clear face, and it'll probably be towards the end of my treatment. So how awesome is that? And now, because I have nothing else to report to you guys as far as side effects goes, and as far as my face goes, which is awesome, I'm so stoked about that, I'm gonna do what I've been doing, this question segment, and some of these questions are gonna be answered very quickly, and some of them are gonna be answered more in depth. Uh, if yours is answered quickly, it just means that I had the quick answer for you, and I didn't wanna spend too much time to make this video too long. So now. Let's do the questions, go! Ramuko asks, have I ever tried B5 as a treatment for acne? Yes, I've tried B5, it did absolutely nothing for me. It may do something for you guys, but for me, nothing. Too severe of acne. Kevin says that whey protein makes him break out, and he's heard me say that in another video, and he asks what protein I take instead of that. And instead of whey protein, I actually take egg protein powder. It's sold by the same company, and I use Optimum Nutrition. It works exactly the same, it mixes really well, it just tastes a little bad, but it has helped me not break out as much, I think. Michael asks me if I've ever gone on a gluten-free diet to see if that was the source of my acne. Honestly, I've never done that. I've done almost every other treatment course except for that because for me, it's very hard to cut out gluten. Gluten is a big... Pepper, would you shut up? I'm trying to make a video. <laughs> for me, gluten is a big part of the foods that I eat. I eat a lot of foods and it would be very hard to take all the gluten out because of the carbs and stuff like that. So I've never done that. Um, but if this Accutane had not started working, I probably would have started looking at things like gluten-free diets might be a good thing for you to try before you try Accutane. Who knows? Will asks me if mass gainer actually inflames and aggravates your acne. At the end of his comment, he says that whey protein does aggravate his acne. Now, most mass gainers are formulated with whey protein. It's just how it is. So it's probably gonna make you break out pretty bad, honestly, because there's like 50, 60 grams of protein in there. What you can do, though, is you can buy your own protein source and your own carb source and mix those together. You can go buy maltodextrin powder, carbs, and you can buy egg protein powder and mix those together and you'll have a mass gainer. Just probably won't taste as delicious as double chocolate serious mass by Optimum Nutrition. Come on now. Kyle asked me if I've had any experience drinking alcohol while on Accutane because they tell you not to drink alcohol or drink as minimal as possible while you're on Accutane. Yes, I actually have. I've drank twice. Once for my birthday and then once recently and it's not good for you, right? Because Accutane is already just like punching your liver in the face and then alcohol is gonna kick your liver in the balls, right? So you don't wanna just keep beating up your liver. But if you do it, this is my opinion, completely my opinion, anecdotal, this is not medical advice. Do not take it as medical advice. You should talk to your dermatologist. But in my opinion, if you drink alcohol once every three weeks, two, three, four weeks, something like that, while you're on Accutane, you're not gonna be doing as much damage to your liver. It's not gonna be aggravating your liver as much. Um, but if you are drinking on every weekend, if you're drinking twice a weekend, if you're drinking you know, every other day, you're having beers every other day because you're one of those people, 
that's going to affect your Accutane and it's going to affect your liver and I don't think you should do that. You should minimize the amount of drinking. But for me, it didn't hurt. Uh, I woke up the next day without a hangover. Uh, it didn't affect my acne. It was all perfectly fine. The Albanian Beast asks me what my opinions are of the long-term effects of Accutane. And I'm sure what he's talking about is like chronic dry skin on certain areas of your body. Uh, I think there's like erectile dysfunction has been reported. Um, depression, chronic depression, uh, chronic fatigue, I think is something that's been reported. There's a lot of long-term side effects that have been reported. Now, in my opinion, these long-term side effects, maybe some of them are true, but I also feel like a lot of people are doing this. They're taking Accutane and there's other factors in their life that are causing these side effects. And then because they're not able to think about what they're doing with their lives, they're immediately blaming anything and everything on Accutane. So of course, you know, um, I don't know, you're, you're overdosing on drugs or something and then you're complaining about the fact that you're depressed. Maybe that's Accutane a little bit, but maybe that's the fact that you've been, you know, drinking too much, you've been smoking too much, you've been taking too many pills, you know? It could be anything. So I feel like a lot of these long-term side effects that are reported are not completely 100% medically accurate and I feel like that a lot of them are just um, anecdotal things that are people are blaming on Accutane. So, for me, the way I did it was I researched my lo the long-term side effects and I said those are the cons and the pros are to have clear skin and to be able to progress myself in my career and I said the pros are worth the cons. Absolutely. So what you need to do is you need to think for the short and long-term side effects, those are the cons, what are my pros, and which one weighs more for me. Maka asks, are you getting any rashes on Accutane? I get them on my arms and my legs. Me? No. Not any. I haven't gotten one rash, unfortunately, so, well, I guess that is fortunately. I haven't gotten any rashes, so I have nothing to report to you. But if you are getting rashes, uh, I'll talk to your dermatologist about that. There's probably something you can do with moisturizing and stuff like that. This is a good question. He asks, would you rather have clear skin and have none of the muscle that you've gained, or would you have, rather have all the muscle that you've gained and have horrible skin like you had at the beginning of Accutane? Without a doubt, without hesitation, I would have a full face of zits, I would have a full chest and back full of zits to retain my muscle. For me, um, the muscle that I have isn't just aesthetic, it's not just like, oh, I want to go out to the beach and I want guys and girls to turn their heads and be like, whoa, that guy's crazy. It's not even about that. For me, it's, um, it's the fact that I'm able to push myself so hard, it feels so good to earn what I've gotten and I've put so much work and effort towards building this statue that I have, my own physique, sculpting it, that uh, nothing else is worth that, you know? Having a clear face is not worth five, six years of my life. Um, this is my passion. This is what I love to do. So if I couldn't do that, who, who would I be? I'd be the clear faced guy that has no passion. Who want, it, pff, get out of here. Shu John brings up a good point. He says, you look like Canelo Alvarez so much. If you guys don't know who Canelo Alvarez is, Google search him right now and you will be like, What's your twin brother doing on TV, bro? And finally, I just want to shout out all of you guys who are supporting me, all of you who have been with me for all these weeks. Here are just a couple of the people who have been supporting me for ever. It is so nice of you guys. It is really helpful for me to keep my positive energy going and my confidence going. So thank you guys who are on the screen and thank you everyone who has left nice comments and let, like sent me nice messages and just all the good positive vibes I'm getting from you guys. It's amazing and it's really helped me. And if you have anyone you know in your, in, in your life who's on Accutane, please give that same positive energy to them because they need it more than I do. They definitely need it. So be there for any and everyone you know that's on Accutane. So that's it for week 19, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me. Hell yes, my face is clearing up. So I think next week we'll have something even more interesting to report to you. And then next week after that, maybe I'll be just completely cleared up. Please keep leaving your questions below. I will answer them every week. And even after I completely finish my treatment, I'm gonna still answer your questions. So please leave them right there in the comments below. And thank you for checking out the video. Team Beyond the Week, lift heavy or die, Myron. <laughs>